avoid the clip. All right, after you have your clip, find the spot where you want to edit it. Right about there. Finishes there. Delete the rest. Edit the time zone. Alright. This is where it starts. You gotta go to edit. No, you gotta go to composition. Say frame as, but you gotta put it where you uh, want the effect to happen. Go to save as, Photoshop layers, and then leave it delete, because I'm gonna delete it later. Save it. Open up Photoshop. Look for the layer you saved. Open it. Mine's messed up, so I gotta change the image size to 1280 by 720. Change it to whatever size you're using as. And then go to the toolbar. And you might have the rectangle. Switch to the line tool. I changed mine to 6 megapixels, but choose what you like. Just draw something like this. Oh, this shit looks ugly. Alright, that looks fine. Uh, click the little eye here so that it show up in the background. Put file, save as, don't change anything, just enter, and then yes, replace or overwrite, okay. Go back to Photoshop, import what we just saved, which it would be, I think, this one. And it says merge layers, make sure it's footage, and okay. It should be here. Oh, what the fuck? I put it on top. Looks kind of blurry because I have it on low, but full it looks fine. Then we're gonna put in our text, and then triple kill. Change this to black. Then move it around so it looks good. There. Actually, I'm going to change it to white. Move it around so it looks good. Fuck it. I guess that looks fine. So then after, this is where the effect comes in. You go to new. No object. Change this. It will be on all panels. Change you to uh, motion tracking. Highlight the clip you want to uh, start on track motion, and then look at. Then you're gonna get this box. Basically, put it over where you wanted to track. So I'm gonna track his head, and then press play. This is gonna track his head for the rest of the video. And that's about it. Apply, X and Y, okay. And then all this shit's gonna come up, just put it away. And then you don't see no effect, but you gotta go to it might yours might look like that, but you gotta go to uh, toggle switches, change your text to no one or whatever no object you're using, and change that to null. And then if you look, it follows the head after the clip. And then you could just adjust it a bit until you like it. So it's a little high, so I'm gonna move this a bit down. And I move the text too. Okay, so that looks fine. Then we're gonna do a little bit of keyframing, so it looks good. So make sure you have it highlighted. Go to your effects, lead to your white. Make sure it's at negative ninety. Uh, hit the 
So now you look where you wanted to start. So I'm gonna start it there. So make sure you hit this time watch. Oh no, time watch for transfer complete uh, completion. This is gonna be 100, so it goes away. Move it just a little bit, so you want it to start coming out. And then it should slide out perfectly fine. So like that. And then for the for the text, just go to transform, opacity, go back where you wanted to start. So right there looks good. Put, put a stopwatch, change the zero, move a couple keyframes, and then change it to 100. And then if I do a quick render, it should look fine, but it's going to take a while. We'll let it render. This is where the effect is get uh, the effect is gonna take place. That's basically it. You can make it look better, but this was a quick run at it. But that's how you do it.